What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So today we've got another Naruto drawing. So it's uh, Rock Lee versus Gara. Lee over this side, Gara over this side, and he's opened one of his uh, eight gates. Both these guys are in three-quarter pose. So Lee here, Gara here. We're going to start with his right eye, and we're just going to draw a circle. So just up here, top half of our page, circle. Okay. Just up here, we need to leave. make sure you leave enough room for his head <clears throat> and his hair and stuff. And remember, use a pencil, and if I go too fast, hit pause. So now, this is a pretty thick line, and we're just going to curve it up. Sorry, we're going to thicken it up. And then he has a sort of a cheek line coming across here. And then his eyebrow, those big bushy eyebrows that he has. So it starts here. And then it's gonna curve right up along this top of his eye here. So big intense frown. So they're just square eyebrows just here. And of course dark black inside. So this is the eye that is turned towards us. So it's the big eye, okay? So that means his small eye, so his head is tilted down. So the small eye is just down from it, right here. So it's just here, right? So much smaller than this one, down from it. So the top of this eye is in line with the bottom of this eye. Just here. Okay. And then his eyebrow and his nose. So his eyebrow line is just here and that's attached to his nose line. So it comes down the inside of this eye, like so. And then it's gonna curve back like this. So you're kind of doing like a letter L, just back to here. Maybe you could put a nostril sort of line there as well. So then his eyebrow comes up from there, goes up like so, goes right off the other side of his head. So it goes actually around the side of his head. So this is the edge of his head here, his forehead. Like so. And he could have some wrinkle lines for his nose, you know, some frown lines like so. So then this is the line for his head. So that's it's going diagonal this way. So then the side of his head is just here. So it comes down from his hair. So say his hairline just here comes down, touches his eyebrow. And then this is going to come down towards his eye this way. And then come around for his cheek around his nose and in underneath his nose down here. So like we're right underneath this side of his nose. That's how far in we're going. So we're going around this shape now. And then in here we have his mouth. So just under his nose, we curve this line up this way, like so. And he's got these big grimacing teeth, gritting his teeth. So big line down like that. And then another line diagonal down that way. So this is the wide side of his mouth. So then we bring this back up to the smaller section. And then curve it back up to here. It nearly joins that line we finished for the side of his face. And then his teeth just in here. So you do some like sharp teeth just there. Don't go the whole way across, but you can if you want. But sometimes it's better to just suggest these things rather than draw them in. So now his chin then, that means it has to be down under here. So we're gonna bring this down and around there. And 
and then this just comes up to his jawline like so and if you want you can bring it up to his ear or you could just leave it like this so what I mean is you could just do the line for the ear just here or you could join them I'm gonna leave it so then the rest of that ear, so we have just a letter V here for his sideburn. Just across from his eyebrow here and above his jaw. And then his ear comes around from this, like so. And then it comes, comes down into that the line for the ear we drew before that. And then the inner ear lines are just here. Like so. So then it's hairline. So we've got like a V sort of section going on in the middle of his head. So it comes down like so. Zigzag lines. And this starts to go travel back up then. To about here. And then it comes back down to the sideburn, just to there. And then he's got like veins all over his face because he's really stressing. So, kind of like, let's see, kind of like this kind of thing. So like one there. So, and you can do this in different places on his head, like this. And there might be scratch marks on his face. Then his hair is being blasted off back off his head, basically. So it's going back this way. He's kind of gone like Super Saiyan. So it goes up that way. And then the back is like all the way down at his neck. And his neck is here. So the back, those back spikes come off like here and then they go around from and join up so we'll start at the back of his neck we go this way and we're just gonna go all the way around every now and then we'll have like a flat piece like this and you go up and around like so Like that. And then he has those white patterns, those the shine of his black hair. So they go around kind of like a hairband or a headband just going around his head. And there are these boxes like that. And they're left white when you're coloring the rest of his hair black. So this is like a letter N, a capital letter N. Like that. Another one. Once you get the hang of these shapes, they're pretty easy. Just boxes. Sometimes a box might have a V in it, just there. Like so. Right, so the collar, so his collar of his green uniform comes down here, comes across to his neck, down this side, and kind of comes across then and in here. 
in the front of his torso. Like so. His back is comes out here. Comes down to his arm. Which comes back down all the way like so. And then we have like his shoulder line just here. And then the inside of his arm just here. And it's kind of bumping because it has, he's wearing clothes. So we've got to do bump lines for the folds for his clothes. And then the inside of his back, so just here. And then like the seam for his clothes, just there. And this meets his headband, which is on his waist. So, let's see. So it comes this way. And then goes down goes down the back here like meets his body then there you might have a full line or two on his clothing and right so the rest of that so the back of it here and then this is going to come down this way back around in here and his metal plate kind of pops out a little bit so just here and then it's going to swing back and it'll go around up and back down this way and then we have the symbol for the leaf spiral with a tail and a beak and then metal bolts and then we have his legs so just coming down a little bit there Glutimus Maximus here and the seam that runs down like so then we might see the middle line as well so just like maybe here And it's tied at the back, so we can just see part of that bow just there. Kind of looks like a leaf. Right, so down to his fist then. So, curve a line down like so. So it's kind of wider here because it's his forearm. So a little bit wider and then... There and then bring it out, and then it comes down to his thumb just there. And these, this is all bandaged, of course. So the back of his hand is here, comes down across, next finger comes down across. These are all the knuckles now. This one comes across and back up. And then all those bandage lines. So, on top like so, we have the, the line for this. We can just see some of his skin on these two. Maybe there. Um, and here. And then we'll do bandage lines. So, Curving, always curving, making sure you're following the contour of the arm. So you're curving around that shape to give it form. And in at his thumb here, we've got some diagonal lines coming down this way, like so. And 
And then we can just see, we can barely see his hand on the other side. So, so it kind of comes out from his headband here. Like so, and then we go out for the thumb, back down. In for his thumb, nearly touches his leg, comes back around like that, back up, and then we can see like his index finger underneath here, goes down around, comes back up, touches this side of his thumb, and there might be another skin line there. And then more lines going that way. Of course, this is all sort of bandage lines as well. And then kind of a line for the bottom of his hand going off my page that way. And then, of course, there's bandages all over this. So here, that way. We can see his thumbnail here as well, actually. Then like a knuckle bandage line. Bandage line, bandage line, bandage line, bandage line there. And then there's kind of energy lines coming all around them. So we'll do those. So it's, we're going sort of a waving line. Coming all around his body. Up off this way. Might come back in off that way as well. And there might be some other parts that like come off this way. And then some more kind of just coming off here. Up around, so I'll just. And then there might be like, if it's in, like in the manga, you know, you can have like these kind of floating sort of rocks around him. But you don't have to do this. You know, just little particles of dirt and stuff just coming up around his body. So you can do really as much of that as you want. Yeah, but I think I'll leave it there. That's enough. So we're gonna go over and do Gara. <clears throat> He's over here with his arms folded, looking not impressed at all. And we have a three quarter pose as well. So same type of thing, head sort of tilted, and just across from Rock Lee's sort of 
top of his eyebrow here, over here, is where we're going to start Gara. So, right, so we'll just start with his, his eye just over here. So we're going to curve a line just this way to start us off. And then this is going to come around like so, just there, and then we're going to thicken this up a bit. And then his iris, so just in here. So we're gonna go around like so. It's kind of like a letter U sort of shape, because he's like, he's looking off this way. And then we can just see his eyebrow. So just here, but you can't really see much of an eyebrow. It's just like a curving line like this. Maybe we can thicken up his top eyelid line. So now that other eye is just here. We start across from his tear duct, just here. And then we're going to curve this up and around like so. So it's lower down again. And then we're going to bring it around the bottom and back up into this corner just in here. So much smaller eye, much rounder, not as long. And then his iris is just in here. So a slender curving eye just there. Because his face is turned away from us, that it's a bit smaller and thinner. And then his eyebrow on top, just the line comes down like Rock Lee, down for his nose, coming down this way. And it comes down this way, but sticks out a bit more than Rock Lee's. And it comes out more to a point and then comes back in, just like so. And then we just have a nostril, just say here. So the side of his face. So we have a diagonal line just coming up from his eyelashes there. And then his cheek comes out around his nose. And then it comes back in towards his chin. So it's gonna come back in this way. So his chin then just down here. So see how far in we've gone again? We're underneath the inside of his eye curving around his nose and in towards the inside of his eye down here. And then this comes around for his chin and then we go up for his jaw. Like so. And then his mouth, so looking serious, sort of downturned kind of mouth, his bottom lip just there. And so his ear then is just here. So it's gonna start here above his eyebrow, curve down and attach to his jaw, kind of like a letter C. And then we have some bones and ligament lines just inside, like this. And then his hair, so he's got a fringe that goes across his face. So we've got like a line that comes down here, spiking back a few times this way. And then this is gonna come across this way. And then on, just to make it easier, we're gonna just do this line down here first. So then there's spikes that go across his face this way. Like so.
this kind of thing. And then another one here. And then a line in there. Okay, so then we do the spikes that go all around his head. So they start at his neck, kind of like uh, Rock Lee. So coming out from his ear, we've got a spike here. We've got a spike running right down, goes back up. We might as well do the rest of his neck while we're here. So it's like about here, I'd say. And then these spikes come up around his head. This one kind of sticks out a bit more. Let's look this way. Comes out like so. Let's look like this. Here, like so spiking up, and then we start to kind of go around his head. So, This and then a long one again out to here, smaller ones here, back in, coming down towards his forehead now. And there could be some extra texture lines or hair lines coming in from his fringe just here. Not a lot though. And then he has that writing that's on his forehead you can't really see much of it now but we can see a little bit so it's like a tattoo somewhere here we have a line like so and then it comes down like this and then we have two lines on top of that and then this ticks back so half of it is like underneath his hair so you can't see all of it and then the next line kind of comes out and down. And then it's like an X here. And then there's some attaching lines in here. A little bit like that, something like that in here. <clears throat> right, so then the other side of his neck is Adam's apple, it's just here. You might have a neck muscle line just there. And then his shoulder. So it comes down, say, this way. Comes down like so. And then we meet his fingers that are folded on this side, but we'll do the other shoulder first. So the other shoulder comes out to here and he's got like a strap that comes down across his body. So it comes down this direction, like so. And this comes up and a bump sort of coming down here. Actually a bigger one as well, just here down all the way 
like so. And this has some like extra fold lines and stuff inside. This. So his arm is folded across this, so we can see his wrist just here, and it comes down to his forearm, just here. And then this curves around like that, towards his elbow, sticks out a little bit, comes down, back up and under towards the wrist, like that. And this comes down like so, and that means, so this, if you fold your arms in the mirror, you, you'll be able to see what I mean. So this one is folded in underneath his bicep. So we'll draw a line for that. So it's just like here. And then his forearm is just here. And his wrist goes in there. So then we can see like the back of this arm just here. So he's got kind of some bumps for his clothes on it. Comes around into here. Comes back up. Folding lines in this way. Line for his shoulder. And then there's another clothesline in there. And then the his tricep comes down this way towards his elbow of this arm. And that comes back around and goes up into his forearm just up here. Like so. And then he's got a, a kind of a sleeve on this arm. So it just curves around here. And then we double this line. And then maybe double this line as well. And then we have to add sort of crisscross lines just here. And then we just go the other way. And right, so his fingers that are coming out, so his, his arm comes up here, so that means his, his fingers come out on this side. So we have like the back of his hand just here. And then this comes across to his index finger, which comes down like so. And then this meets his middle finger, like here. And then his little finger, just here. And that comes down, come back around, and back into here. And then the, the front of his hand is gonna come down into the forearm here. And you might see some knuckle lines or stuff just here. And then he's, one other finger just sticking out. Actually, his index is sticking out up here. Just like so. And then that strap that he's holding his gourd on with comes down this way. And then it's got a buckle on this side. So it's just a box. It looks like a flag a little bit. And then the other, other side of that strap. And then we have a box inside and the buckle line just there. And then the strap is gonna go up around his neck. Like so. And then this buckle comes across 
the body just goes that way. It's like a leather strap. Just there. The other side of his, his arm actually comes down here and then this goes in that way. And then his collarbone comes out from here back in and then his other collarbone comes out from there back in. Okay, so the front of his body, so just coming down this way, like so, and then, so this scarf of his keeps going, like so. It kind of bumps out here, comes down, and then it has some like full lines inside. Goes down off my page all the way. And um, we have another like fold line there. And another line here. And then the back of his body, so it comes down just up here. Like this. And then it meets like two belts. So one comes across there, kind of like a rainbow line. And then there's another one coming across to here. And then this comes down a bit further and we have an inside line for that one. And then the inside line for this one is like, so it comes up in here. And then it comes around and down into there. And then there's two buckles here as well. Silver buckles. And then the inside line for that strap. It's this leather strap all the way down here. Goes real long. The other side of it there. And then we have a white section. And then that line. Da, 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 da. Nearly there, nearly there. A line there, a line there. And then the rest of his body kind of comes down in here as well. Like his hip and his back. And this has a double line on it. Okay, so his gourd. So it's like a big round line that goes around the back of his head. So the front of it is just here. Comes all the way down nearly to his elbow. And it comes out up here somewhere. So it's like over here. Like so. Curves down to about there. Actually, down a bit further. So it's kind of like a circle with the bottom part cut off going around his head. And we've got that red strap that's holding it on, which comes down like here. And this goes back in to his body, to there, and the top of it is here. And then four lines, just there, and another one here. And then the back part of that gourd, so I probably can't fit the whole line in. No, just there. And it's got some cracks running along it, like so, and then another one running up this way, and then he's got like those symbols, so he's got like a box on this side, and then curve this this way. 
across like so and there's all this writing inside they're like letter m's i think so like coming across this way and then a w goes off my page and like that if you could fit in there's like more that go all the way around his gourd. And then there's like another crack just down here. And, oh yeah, more of that, those symbols. So, like this. And then maybe with that W just here. And then another one kind of on this side, but you can only see a corner of it. Then the top of that gourd, so just here, like so. And of course, if you want, you can draw sand coming out of the top of that gourd, of course. And it's kind of, it's shaded with dots. Ah, I'll stop there. So there you go. How to draw Gara versus Rock Lee. Thanks for watching, guys. Fair play to anyone who followed along. I'll see you in the next one.